Welcome back to another video guys. Thanks for tuning in to Jojo Coco Studio. So this is the part two of the Fractal Design Defined Mini C mod. And uh, obviously, if you haven't watched part one, I highly suggest you to watch the part one because I covered like some parts that will continue in this part two. So let's jump right in. Wait, wait, wait guys. So uh, as you noticed that like I have created a GPU backplate and uh, let's quickly roll back to the history. So what I've done was I uh, painted the back side white and I just put a new sticker on because I believe this sticker is a lot better for like spray painting. And what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna spray this backplate metallic gray. So yeah, something like this guys. And uh, to be honest, I feel that uh, I don't really want to peel the sticker off anymore because I like the way how it looks. However, I guess the only downside of this is that once it reflects with the light, it's quite hard to see the MSI Dragon, but at an angle, you do see it. Okay, back to the water cooling stuff. So, as I mentioned earlier in part one, I am going to put a 120 millimeter radiator and a fan over here as well since you know, we have so much space left. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna ride with the EKWB Radiator EK Coolstream PE120 single. And yes, yes, I know it's, it's, it's black, but I'll find a way to hide the, the color of this, make it like, try and make it white. Let's also connect the 24 pin, the GPU pins and the CPU pins and those tiny little painful pins out of the way. Fittings and adapters. So I guess these are the most important things in a custom water cooling loop. I'm gonna go for the XSPC fittings over here. Looks looks really nice, I like the design. So the outer diameter is the 14 millimeter and the inner diameter is 10. And these are triple O-rings design. So let's just quickly see inside. So yeah, this is the first O-ring and then the second and third is in there. So I'll quickly show you how to put the hard tube in. I've done some quick research. I heard that if I wet the tube first and then shove it in, it's a lot easier and oh yeah there, there you go it just went all the way in so that's pretty good and then now we just have to put the cap in simply screw it in another thing that I'm gonna use in this build as well is that 90 degree angle adapters these are by EKWB I guess these are for like really tight turns so these are very useful so for example say this is the reservoir and then I need to do like a 90 degree turn and all I have to do is that put it like that. Something like this. As for the tools to bend the PETG tubes, I'm gonna go with this cutting PETG thingy. We have some silicone and make sure that this matches with the inner diameter of the tube. A chamfer so that end of the tube is not sharp and it might not cut the O-rings. And some angle guiding bending tool, so. Yeah, and of course, last but not least, a heat gun. Okay, so I've now put in the XSPC fittings where they're supposed to be, right? And um, over here, that's the uh, right angle adapter with an XSPC fittings. And over here as well, to the pump. And the first thing I've noticed that I think I found a challenge, or I don't know if it's a challenge or a problem, but you see the connecting from the reservoir to the pump? I think we really need a really short tube, so let's give this a go. So something like this. Is that too tall? I don't know. Maybe I should cut a little bit more. Uh, or maybe we can just try it. Oh man, this is so like tight spot. Ah, that's better. Tighten the bottom first. Top, wrong way around. Oh, there you go. All right, so yeah, that that went all right, and um, yeah, I forgot to put the um, the double-sided tape underneath. So, but luckily there's still some space to lift it up, and I'll just slide that in. And um, yeah, I'm gonna do my first bend over here, and connect to the GPU. Approximately eight centimeters. Actually, wait a second. It's better to cut more than 
the accurate measurement, right? All right, that's soapy water, and I'm gonna dip the silicone like so, so that we can easily put it in the PETG tube. Okay, so now we just simply put the silicone inside like so. And I noticed that while I was messing around with this, when you push it straight like that, it doesn't really go in. So what I did was just twist it, and it goes in real quick. All right, so here we go. Um, let's bend this guy. That's too bad. See that little kink there? Check it out guys, my first bend and obviously it didn't go well. Uh, we can see a kink, so my understanding is that I think it put put on the, the heat too, too hot or too long, so I'm gonna mess with the temperature on this heat gun. And uh, yeah, let's try it again. All right guys, so so far it looks something like this. I think I cut the length, it's, it's pretty pretty good. But then I kind of ran into this kind of problem where this is not really aligned to this to this particular fitting, but, but I can kind of shove it in, just like put it like that. So I'll give it a try, yeah? All right. All right guys, so there goes my first bend. All right, so the second bend I'm gonna work on is this awkward bend. Actually, one of the um, one of you guys mentioned that this tube may not pass the graphics card unless I do a awkward 45 degree and then come up and then to the CPU. We'll try that, we'll try that. All right, so, so far, as you can see, we have a bend here to avoid the GPU. All right, check it out, guys. This is the, um, the awkward bend. So it looks like that. Over here looks fine, but until it gets around here. This, to be honest, I re-bent it and I tried to like lower this level down in order to match with this hole, right? So it kind of messed it up. For now, I'll, I'll leave it as is. All right, guys, uh, a big tip for those, um, well, this is how it worked out for me. So I went back and re-bent this entire tube and it looks a lot better, well, a lot better than the old one. And I think what really helped me out is that I compared the old one with the new one. Like for example, I knew that this bend has to be lower, so, so I calculated, I compared it. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna flip the case uh, this this way so that the reservoir is standing vertically and then the water will go into the pump and let's put the distilled water in there. This should be really interesting. All right, so let's remove the plug from the reservoir and then, yeah, so this is just another view. I'm gonna put the distilled water into this hole right there. All right guys, so I filled up the reservoir and then now I've noticed the water has entered into the pump and then into the radiator and then as you can see that water is coming out. So I'm going to switch the pump on and then hopefully there are no leaks. All right, let's do this. Whoa. All right, round two guys. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that was just only two 150 mils of, of water, of distilled water, and then the loop completes, goes all around. So I'm gonna quickly check for leaks or anything like that, and uh, we'll be back. All right, so I was just checking all the fittings and if there's any leakage around the area. And so far, so good. It looks all right, but the thing is, as you'd notice that there's a lot of bubbles going on. I think it's because obviously the, the water coming in is not fully submerged under the water. So um, I guess if I flip this to like the, the normal, normal orientation of the case, that should fix the problem. It's a lot heavier than before. Oh, oh man. How does it look? 
a lot more quiet. Wow, it's so quiet now. There's a bubble on the corner of the CPU block over there. And I think we just have to do some wiggling on the case so the bubble can escape into here. I think I'll just leave it as is so that we can see like the water moving around. That's pretty cool. I, I, I like the, the horizontal reservoir in, in this position. It's pretty awesome. Oh, but the thing is that I totally forgot about the, the, the blue dye. Let's, uh, let's put in the blue dye, guys. Maybe I'll add one more drop in. You see the fitting right there on the pump? Yes, that's that's the number one suspect of of leakage, you know? There was a leak over there, a very tiny tiny leak, but I didn't catch it on camera. So very simple, I just tightened that. And what I noticed just then was I should have put paper towels all over this, but fortunately I got away with it. Finally everyone, so we have finished the custom water cooling loop on the Define Mini C and I'm really proud of this loop as this is my first time creating a custom water cooling loop, right? So over here I've mentioned that I'll cover the black radiator with, um, with something so obviously I went with the Jojo Coco Studio uh, logo and I'm really proud of this loop right here. It looks kind of sophisticated, kind of complicated but actually it's it's not that hard to bend and at the bottom I do like the horizontal reservoir configuration however there is a there's a disadvantage for this I normally put a Wi-Fi card at the bottom underneath the graphics card but unfortunately this is eaten up by the res reservoir so that means I guess I have to buy like a, a USB Wi-Fi or something like that over here yes the the pull configuration of the fan looks excellent. Uh, I guess if, if, if it was push, it'll be just like white and black radiator, so it'll look kind of dull and boring, but this looks pretty cool, right? And um, yeah, guys, the overall theme looks great. I mean, I was going for like uh, a fractal design theme, the, the snowflake, thanks for, thanks for the previous video, the part one, I, I didn't really know what, what that was called. I'm in a tropical country by the way, I don't really see these. But anyways, yes, uh, it, it white, blue, and a little bit of silver, and for the GPU backplate, it's a shame that we can't really see the MSI logo, that's too bad. But uh, maybe I'll peel this off and see how it looks like, but that, I'll do that in my own time. And overall, the paint job of the case looks excellent. It's just nice and white. Uh, it'd be great if Define Mini C had a white version, but you know, they don't have it at this point. So whatever, we'll make it our own. All right guys, so if you liked this video, please press the like button. And uh, if you found this video like very useful and informative, don't forget to share it to your friends as well. And subscribe guys, subscribe. So. Um, You'll see more videos about like PC related stuff, some more mods, and some cool builds as well. Alright, so I uh, hope to catch you in another time guys. See you later guys.